let's say we want to convert a number in base 10, like 206. So that's just two 100s and six ones. Um, and let's put it in base, how about four? Now again here, the place values are key. I want to figure out how can I build this number using my place values in base four. So let's look at those place values. So here we have the ones place, and then the fours place, and then the four squared place, four squared is 16, so I'm gonna write 16 there. Uh, four cubed is 64, and then four to the fourth is 256. Okay, so one, four, four squared is 16, four cubed is 64, uh, four to the fourth is 256. Now, I need to fill in the blanks here, but notice, I only need to go up until I get to a, number, a place value bigger than the number. 256, there aren't any 256s in 206, so I don't need a place value or a value over in the 256 place. So if I want to build 206 out of these place values, the first thing to do is just figure out how many times does 64 go in there. So I'm going to take 206 and divide it by 64. Uh, that happens to go in there three times. Let's see, 3 times 64, 3 times 4 is 12. Get rid of 1, 3 times 6 is... 18 plus 1 is 19, and then I subtract, this is a 4, I have to borrow, so 14. So I get 3 remainder 14. That means by putting a 3 in the 64's place, I'm taking care of 192 of this, the value here, and I only have 14 left to deal with. So I'm going to take that 14 and keep going. I want to know how many 16's are in 14. Well, you already know there aren't any 16s in 14, so I don't need any of those. I'm going to put a 0 there. Now I want to know how many 4s are in 14. So I'm going to keep going with my remainder. I'm going to take 14 and divide it by 4. That should go in there 3 times. 3 times 4 is 12, so a remainder 2. So I'm going to need 3 4s. And then finally I've got 2 left. You can divide 2 by 1 if you want. It's not very exciting. Um, I must need a 2 here, and then I need to remember to tag it with my base. So 206 should be 3032 base 4. And I can do a quick check. 2 times 1 is 2. 3 times 4 is 12. Uh, 0 times 16 is 0. 3 times 64 is 192. Plus 12 is 204. Plus 2 is 206. So by converting that back into base 10, I see that my solution is correct.